Hi all, Jason here from Rambling On. Just going to have a quick look at the Lanshan 2. Um, I've ordered this to do a bit of wild camping around Ireland. So I haven't set it up yet, so this is my first look at it. I'm going to go through my impressions of it, have a quick look around it. So let's try to get it set up. So these are the pegs that come with it. There's eight of these in the bag. Nice little pegs. If you can see that there. There's two patches there if you ever need them. Hopefully you won't be needing them. So I got the winter inner. It's not attached. So I'm going to attach that now before I pin it out. So they just attach on to these little hooks. Brings out. There's another one up at the top, I'd imagine. So there's a hook point there. That's for the pole. So I'm just going to peg out the four corners here now. So it doesn't blow away on me. So I just have the four corners pegged out. I have these trekking poles, they're just carbon trekking poles, so I won't go through them now. Um, I'm going to set these at 115 centimeters. I've seen where you can set it to 125. So I'm just going to try it at 115 and see how it looks. Hopefully this works. I'll just give you a little look at this. Um, that's a little loop at the top of the tent for the pole. And I would imagine that the, this part of the pole would sit in there. Just to stop it sliding out. A little loop here on the bottom that you have to connect the pole to just wrap it around the pole. Now there is a little small knot here. Don't undo that. That's where your peg goes through. So what I've done here is I've tightened up this. I have this tension here. It just pulls down there and tensions that. I had to move in the peg because it was too far away to catch this. So this is the little latch to just loop in here under those. And you just, the same situation, you just pull that down to tension it. There is a little knot there, but I'll sort that out there. And it's quite a distance there actually, underneath. So we'll keep going and see how it looks at the end. It's looking pretty good now, aren't you? A good point about this tent is that you don't actually need the inner. If you wanted to use this as a tarp, I'm sure it'd be perfectly capable. Look at the size of it. It's absolutely gigantic in there. So if I took out that inner and just had a, I don't know, a ground sheet or a bivy or something like that, or just a demand if it was in the summer, it'd be a massive, massive tarp. I've never used the tarp, but I think I'll just bring this. Oh yeah, these are the way they clip up. This is the way it clips. That's the clips I hit earlier. And there's one on each corner. And then there you have these. There's a guy line for outside. And that'll pull that right back and give you more headroom inside. So I just need to pin up the top of these up to where the poles are. And just straighten everything up, that ball is obviously not straight. But it's sitting in nicely there, that's a reinforced patch there. And it's just sitting in on that. So I'm just gonna attach the inner and then do a bit of tweaking. And I'll bring you back. 
I have it all hooked up inside. You'll only have to hook it up like this on the first go. You leave it all together for when you're bringing it out. So all this faffing around, you won't be doing it all the time. I won't be anyway. So I'm just going to set it up now, try and tweak it a bit. Get it looking a bit sexier, you know. These are the guidelines for the sides here, just up here. And I have two pegs and two guidelines. So I'll show you that there now. This end here goes up. So the adjustment is down at the peg side. So you just feed that back through a little bit. And you have it like that. So that'll go over your peg. And this goes up here. So you just have to feed it through and get it tied on. So what I would do here is feed it through the first hole. And then push it back through the second. And then I'm just going to do a little loop on it. So this is the top, that's the little knot I put through. I'm after putting the guy line through it, and I'm just going to pull it tight. And it's nice and tight there now. And then the bottom just comes down to the peg. So I'll just throw a peg in here. Somewhere there. And I'll tighten this up. Same as on the rest of them. And that just pulls that just pulls out this just to keep give yourself a bit more headroom. Now I don't know if you pull it back, I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. So it's tight enough there. To do say if you're near any trees that you could actually tie it and have it up onto a branch or something like that, and that'll keep give you even more headspace inside. But that's the way that's the way you'd be if you're out on a a plain or up in the mountains or whatever. I'd imagine. So I have the land chance set up now. It's looking pretty good. I raised up the poles to 125 and it made a big difference. Um, it's pretty taut on the sides. I could probably do a little few more adjustments, but I'm happy enough with it for now. So the material is a 15D sill nylon. Um, it's silicon coated on one side. So where the treads are for the guy ropes, you have to seam seal it. So you'd need to get a sill nylon seam sealer. Um, I'll do a video on that. The waterproof index for the base is 8000 millimeters, and the waterproof index for the fly sheet is 5000 millimeters. So it's quite light if you feel it, and uh, when it's nice and taut, it feels really strong. It's 1155 grams, and the separate ground sheet that you can buy, I think it was 923 grams. It's a 40D. Now if you're going out in woodland or anything like that, you, I probably would recommend it because you don't want to get your, the bottom of the tent punctured. But then there's other alternatives you can get, you know, a bit of polythene or whatever. There's a few different options out there um, that might be a bit lighter. But I got this colour as well. I thought it would blend in with the Irish landscape. And, you know, I don't really want to be standing out on the side of a mountain. I will be sticking to the leave no trace rule, but uh, I just don't want to be drawing attention to myself and I thought it was a lovely colour. So I'm going to have a little look around it here now and I'll show you some of the points on it. And yeah, so have a look at it. So I have the little bungee cord here and I have it under this strap. This strap is tensioning up the fly sheet and this is to hold the bathtub, you can see it in there. Yeah, and it's quite, you know, it's quite loose, so that would pop off if this wasn't holding it. Um, I would have angled the peg a bit more, but it's just for this demonstration. So up here you have your guy rope for the headspace. You can put any sort of knot in the back of this, there's no adjustment here. Your adjustment is down here, and all you do is, you just tip it back, and it'll lower down. And just pull it back up, and it'll tighten. Just push it in like that, and that'll hold there. Obviously two hands are better than one. You could upgrade these, which I probably will do. I'll put a link in the description below to the ones that I was looking at. And they work, they work really good, so I'll, I'll show you that. But these are nice, simple, and they do the job. Now these are little vents here. There is a little vent up there. So that's handy to have. This is a very light material, you can see my hand there through it. There is a mesh 
there is a mesh inner that you can get and it's a three season inner this is a four season inner and um, it's it's very light it's nice there's little bits of mesh just up here at the top bring you in closer there's a bit of mesh up there that let the air in I'd imagine if you had the base of the fly sheet up fairly high that the wind would come in here and it wouldn't you know it wouldn't chill you too much and that would help with condensation so I'll just pull back this door here now that just clips on there now you can see you have quite a large vestibule if I had these bow clothes I'll show you on the other side it's quite large so you can do all your cooking here I've seen where people have hung their bags out of the poles with a little clip up here put your boots out there so as you go inside quite a large space in here that's right at the back there now you can see how the tension on the guy rope out there holds up this it just keeps it away from your head as you lie down so I am six foot two and I've a bit of head space there my feet aren't touching the back down there and yeah it's nice it's up away from my face obviously I'll be up on a sleeping mat I can sit up straight in it I can sit up nice and straight and yeah it's nice I'll just open up this door here that's the space for the vestibule there it's a nice size let's close that up again I have bought a a foil mat to go in this and it fits almost perfectly if I can find a link I'll put it in the description below and it will cover the ground because as I'm sitting here now I can feel the cold from the ground underneath so it's definitely worth getting one of them and they're extremely light they're very light I think mine was like 80 grams or something like that you have little hooks up here to hang a lantern so they'd be nice to have there's one that side as well and you have a little pocket here you want to put your phone in or whatever just to keep it handy well it's nice it's very light in here I have seen where people have had them set up and the light in here you can see from outside so I would suggest maybe a dim uh, torch you can get like a one lumen light or whatever I'm very impressed it's very light but that's what you want it's all about the weight it's all about the weight with the four season here I could raise up this up a little bit higher to let the wind go in and up over the inner sheet and that might help with condensation a bit more airflow so my impressions of this tent is that it's very light but it's very strong um, I love the colour I'm mad about the colour um, anytime I've seen the khaki brown I just love it I think it blends in really well so I'm very impressed with it actually the space inside is massive there's loads of space in there and then you have two big vestibules it is a very low profile you know it, I was worried from the videos it looks quite tall and I would stand out but it's a lovely lovely height I think it'll blend in really well I'm really impressed with it I can't wait to get it out I'll do a full review of it when I have it tested out a few times so considering that was the first time putting up the tent it went up fairly easy you now it probably still needs a few little tweaks and I'd like to check out maybe the tracking poles get them a bit better but I'm happy with it and I'm hoping that you're happy with it yeah, I hope you got some value out of this video if you did hit like subscribe to the channel I'll be doing a lot more hiking videos I'll be doing a lot of wild camping videos hopefully um, I'll be doing multi day hikes as well that was my first look at the Lanshan 2 and I'm actually, I can't wait to get out in it. It's lovely. Go take a few photos of it now. Yeah, so thanks for joining me again. I'm just going to leave it here. So I'll see you next time. See ya.